Hi everyone, welcome to Games with Ben. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play a new game called Stellar Drift. Stellar Drift is a pull and write game. You're going to be pulling cubes out of a bag to repair your damaged spaceship and escape certain doom. Before we begin, I will mention this is a preview copy of the game. Uh, components are subject to change. And with that, let's learn how to play Stellar Drift. To begin, give everyone an income sheet and a tech upgrade sheet. A sheet for their spaceship. Note there are different spaceships, so not everyone may have the same one. A ship repair tracker sheet. An energy tracker, a disc, a ready token that's double sided, and a pencil. Next, sort out the number of cubes you need based on player count, as shown here in the rulebook. Then, randomly grab two cubes from the bag. Make sure these two cubes are different colors. If you happen to draw two of the same colors, put them back and draw two new ones until you get two different colored cubes. Once you have your two different colored cubes, you're going to pick one of them to select your special captain skill that you'll be able to use once per round for the rest of the game. The other cube will be used for your tech upgrade you will cross off the bottom two boxes on whichever color you choose. Uh, if you choose blue, you'll be able to cross off the bottom box on all three trackers. Once everyone has selected their captain skill and their tech, have everyone put their two cubes back in the bag. This is the end of setup, and you are now ready to play Stellar Drift. At the bottom of the tech tracker sheet, there is a round tracker. You can follow that from top down and it'll guide you through the rest of the rounds for the rest of the game. To start, circle in the one for round one, then cross off the energy and collect your energy income. Your energy income can be found at the top of the sheet. As you can see, everyone starts with an energy income of three. To collect your energy, find your energy tracker and move your disc up three spots. Now that we've done our energy income, it's time to move down the round tracker and do our cube income. Your cube income is located right next to your energy income and also starts at three. So grab three random cubes from the bag. The next step on the round tracker is to gain a tech point. Every single round you'll get exactly one tech point. You can use that in any of the three tech tracks to cross off the next square from the bottom on any track. For example, you can mark off the next square on the energy track, which in this case would unlock a special ability. Special abilities are one-time use abilities that you can use any time during the game. Just cross them off as soon as you use them and gain the benefit that they give you. Now that everyone has gotten their tech point, it's time to do our repairs. Repairs are when we spend the cubes we used that we got in the cube income phase. This will be a good time for everyone to find their spaceship sheet. To repair your ship, you must pay the cubes indicated at the top of each square on your ship. You must pay all the cubes indicated, so if a square only has one cube, it only costs that one. If it has two cubes, you must pay both. If it has three cubes, you must pay all three. Additionally, you may only repair squares that are orthogonally adjacent to squares you have already repaired. Regardless of what spaceship you start with, everyone will start from the reactor core, which is the black starting square at the center of their spaceship. Whenever you make a repair, immediately gain the benefit at the bottom of that square. For example, if I wanted to use this blue cube to make a repair on my ship, I would first put the cube in the spent cubes area on my score sheet. I would cross off the square that only costs a single blue cube directly above my reactor core. That square lets me do a free repair to my CPU core, so I'll come over to my ship repair tracker and cross off the first box on the left of the CPU core row. I will then take the immediate benefit from that box, which is an energy. So I'll move my energy tracker from 3 up to 4. 
This is a good time to mention that if you ever forget what an icon means, there is this handy dandy icon list on the left side of the energy tracker. This is also the phase of the game where you can spend your energy. You can spend two energy to pull a random cube from the bag, or you can spend two energy to change the color of a cube you've already pulled. This is a good time to revisit the captain abilities that we selected at the beginning of the game. Remember, these are abilities that you can use once per round. As soon as you've used your captain ability, go ahead and circle in the round number that you used it in, and that'll help you remember that you cannot use it again that round. Everyone will continue to carry out their repairs phase simultaneously. Remember to put all your cubes down in your spent cubes area once you're done. If you cannot spend all your cubes or don't want to spend them all, you can carry over two cubes to the next round. Any more than two leftover cubes though will have to be returned back to the bag. Once you're done, flip your ready token over to the check side. Once all players have done this, that'll signify that everyone is ready to start the cleanup phase. Go ahead and cross off the bottom box in whatever round you're in. That'll signify the start of the cleanup phase, which is always the last thing you do in each round. For cleanup, all you do is store those two leftover cubes, if you have them, up in your cube storage. You put all your spent cubes, as well as any leftover cubes that you couldn't store, back into the bag. And then you'll flip your ready token back over to the hourglass side for the next round. And that's essentially the gameplay. You're going to do those same steps over and over again for seven different rounds. The game ends at the end of the seventh round, and whoever has the most points is the winner. There are four ways to score points. The first one is from repaired sections on your ship. Your ship has different colored sections with medals underneath each one. As soon as you complete one of those colored sections, you're awarded victory points based on the medals underneath. Additionally, the first time you complete a colored section, you'll get to cross off one of the four boxes up on the ship section bonus track. That will give you an additional three victory points as well as a one-time use ability. The medals from all your completed ship sections will go in the first box, and the medals from the section bonuses will go in the second box. The third box is for your ship repairs. To find your points for ship repairs, go to your ship repair tracker, and you're gonna add up the highest medal achieved for each section. The metals on these are not cumulative. So for instance, on the reactor row, if you make it to the tech point, you will get three points for that, not three plus two plus one. The final scoring section is for tech upgrades. To find your score for tech upgrades, go to your tech upgrade sheet. And similar to your ship repairs, you'll find the highest metal achieved for each of the three tech tracks and add those together. Again, these are not cumulative, you just take the highest value for each track. That is all there is to Stella Drift. Uh, I hope next time you play this, you are well prepared, you can escape certain doom and make those repairs necessary to your spaceship. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. I'll see you next time. This has been Games with Ben.